welcome, Director General, to Humanitarian Aid and also UNIC Mexico. It's very nice to have you here. Let me start by asking you, what can Latin America and the Caribbean do to tackle, once for all, hunger and poverty? Well, uh, we are doing a lot. We are doing a lot in, the America, in Latin America and the Caribbean. I would say that in this moment, the most important due to the difficult economic conditions that probably, probably will reflect in the slowing of the growth in the region and also in some countries that are deeply affected, like uh, Venezuela, Brazil, just to say a few, uh, we should keep the social policies. I think that in this moment, we should not withdraw the support for the poor, uh, because that is what uh, sustained in this moment uh, of a very difficult economic moment. A challenge in Mexico is definitely the obesity levels among children. What can the country do in order to improve nutrition, but also to enhance even further the sustainable farming? Well, we are promoting uh, not only in Mexico, but uh, in all Latin America, this local purchase from family farmers. What that means, you buy the food locally, to use it locally. Uh, for example, we are feeding the schools with uh, fruits, vegetables, uh, eggs, fresh milk that are produced around the school by small farmers, small producers. What that means, you have a fresh product, you have a more nutritional product, and you stimulate the economic performance of those farmers around. So you create a kind of a virtual cycle locally that will promote the family farmer, but also will give the children a better quality of their food. Uh, will give the children the opportunity to change their habits, not to uh, buy, uh, let's say, McDonald's and uh, other kinds of foods that they, are, they love, but they will start to learn more about a new system, a more healthy diet, and will promote it in their homes with their mothers. And so we can create a new way of eating. And talking about health diets, this is the international <laughs> year of pulses. Why is this so important for Latin America, but also other countries? Well, uh, in this region, Pulse uh, is a staple food. Beans, uh, peas, uh, we just discovered in the Caribbean a pigeon peas that they eat during the uh, Christmas time. So we will promote this uh, for three main reasons. First, it's a very nutrition food, especially when combined with cereals. Uh, typical in Mexico is the use of uh, frijoles and maize, beans and maize. Hmm? Uh, very uh, tasteful uh, <laughs> combination, but very nutritious also. Hmm. The second reason is that pulse helps uh, to improve the soil quality. Uh, they can uh, reduce the use of the, or the needs of chemicals in the soil, especially nitrogen, that is a very important polluter of the soils. And the third, that is easy to grow, use less water than, for example, the wheat or rice. And uh, it, they are no so much, uh, uh, let's say, uh, affected by climate change. They can support uh, high temperatures. They can support the draw. Uh, so uh, it's a typical food that our indigenous people used to eat 5,000 years ago for some reason that we are now discovering. So this is why we are trying to promote it again. Bring the f these beans back to the table. Director General, thank you very much for your interview. To you in Mexico, in Manredo, thank you very much.